So Arlo is absolutely adorable. For whatever reason, despite my love of Disney and my appreciation for dinosaurs in general, I'd never seen the good dinosaur, but I had heard a lot of good things about it. So I can now say that I've seen it and I do think it was worth the seven year wait. This was released in 2015, directed by Peter Son, and this focuses on this young dinosaur called Arlo. And we learn straight away that Arlo is a bit of a runt of the litter. The, the three eggs hatch at once for the siblings. Um, there's Buck, Libby, and then the little Arlo. And we get this little, little montage of him growing up, and then all of a sudden he's a, a fully grown... Um, I'm not sure exactly how old he is, but I think he's maybe like an, an older teenager. And then something tragic happens. And it's one of the most... There were two scenes in this that I thought were horrific, brilliant, amazingly done, but painful to watch. And one of them happens very early on and they're down by the river and something awful is happening. It's, you know, it's chaotic and it's all noisy and, you know, you can hear Arlo's panicking and the sound of the river is loud and then just thud and it's silent. And then it cuts to the next scene and you know exactly what has happened. But it's so powerfully done, and I definitely praise it for it, but I hadn't expected it, expected it to be quite that powerful quite early on. And then, to be honest, they do make it a little bit dramatic. About 30 seconds later, another one of the characters collapses. They're fine. They're okay. You know, they're just a bit tired. And then, about three or four minutes after that, maybe I'm exaggerating, it might be like ten minutes later, Arlo... His real journey begins because he ends up in the in the river and then he ends up kind of down river and on the wrong side of it and he has to make this journey back home but while he is making this journey back home he encounters this little creature um, I say creature he is meant to represent um, an early human I don't believe he's representing a Neanderthal I think he is uh, your stereotypical cave person if you like. Um, he is given the name of Spot. He doesn't speak, but he is a very intelligent little boy who seems to have lost his way. And he joins Arlo on this journey, and is clearly on a journey of his own, but much more emotional. And there is one scene with him that just... It could have ruined me. It's the scene with the sticks. I'm not going to say any more than that, but just look out for the scene with the sticks. It's beautifully done but very emotional. I really like the animation for this. I think it's brilliant. Um, I had a lot of fun watching it. The characters are great. One of my favourite scenes involves the little rodents when they're blowing holes or blowing air into the holes. I found that to be very delightful. I do think some of the scenes dragged on a bit and um, particularly after the scene with the herd um, and then you have the scene with the pterodactyls. I think they were pterodactyls. It just, you know, certain things kind of seemed a little bit too forced. Like there were one too many pitfalls on this journey that made it seem a little unrealistic. But then, you know, if you think about the wilderness at the time and what it would have been like, maybe it's not that unrealistic. Either way, very emotional, thoroughly enjoyed it. Gorgeous animation, beautiful backgrounds, obviously a lot of attention to detail in the foreground. Pixar do do visuals very, very well. And thankfully with this one, they've given us a very good narrative, a beautiful protagonist, and what is generally just a really thoroughly enjoyable film.